Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit? This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. So listen, sister, you will only get better by doing... So I was looking for a video, I don't know, I was looking for a video on my Facebook page of the day, and so I kind of started to get sucked in the, oh, let me look back at some old videos, and so I came across one that I put up on my Facebook page, one of my Facebook pages, where it was my husband and I, like, driving to our date night. It was November 2015. And I look at it, and I'm like, my first, my first thing is just like, oh, my God, I look like shit. I could, I got my glasses on, my hair's a lot shorter, like the video's not, like it's not bad, it's just Ed and I having a conversation about the importance of date nights, and the message was well received, and yada, 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 but I'm looking at this thing, and I'm like, <laughs> like, compared to the way that I feel I can communicate a message now, it's night and day, and I, I did a podcast recently on respect the progression, and that there is a progression to things, I'm working with a client who was really kind of, you know, postponing on putting out videos, thinking it has to be, like, I'm going to do the drafts, and I'll, like, shoot a few times. It's like, no, sweetheart, like, just fucking ship it. Seth Godin, who's a brilliant marketer, he's written a ton of books. He talked about the concept of ship it in Lynchpin and in Tribes, and uh, I've read a lot of his books. Purple Cow is really good, and The Dip, and... But the concept of ship it is this, is that if you wait until Mercury was in retrograde... Or is it not retrograde? I don't ever know how that thing works. If you wait until everything is perfect, if you wait until the planets are aligned, if you wait and wait and wait and wait and wait until you think that you are quote unquote ready, like now you have the money. I'm gonna wait till I have the resources. I'm gonna wait till I have more time until you do things. You will have wasted a lot of time. You've wasted all the opportunity during that time period Because you were unwilling to ship it. You were unwilling to start doing. See, the only time you get better is by actually doing it. Now, by all means, is it important to know what you're doing and to, you know, study and increase your skill set with things? Totally. That's a piece of it, too. But I bet you you can think of a time, and maybe that time is even right now, where you're delaying doing it. Because you think you need to know more, have more time, have more money, uh, you know, whatever it is, have more resources, know the right people, like you're not shipping it. And there is a progression to these things. But the only way, like I'm telling you, the only way is you just need to bite the bullet. Like this is no magic formula. This is not nothing new you've heard before, but maybe me saying it, well, the message will sink a little bit deeper this time. It's like, you just have to fucking do it. And so I said to my one client, I just said, look, it, it's going to feel awkward. You're going to suck at first. You're going to maybe even stumble on your words. You're not going to like the way that you look. I said, look, it, the only thing that matters to me is lighting. <laughs> so I sit there with, hold my iPhone out, click, what am I going to talk about? Click record and like go and just start speaking. Now, it's taken me a while to get to this place. I've also spoke the 14, 15 years that I was a chiropractor several times, several hundred times, maybe even to the thousands of speaking in public. Now, listen, the other part of this is don't go, oh my God, will you, this, you've been training for this for a long period of time. Yes and no. Like, don't also use this as an excuse for you to not ship. Well, Karen's taken a long time to get there. So, you know, maybe I should just take a little bit more time too. No, no, no. Don't, don't use the message that way. Like, this is not what this is about. This is understanding that the more that you do things, the better you get. So let's take a look at something different outside of business. Let's say marriage. Let's say that you have not been connecting for a long ass time with your husband. And now you suddenly are. And you start, you realize you're like, okay, let's commit to having date nights. You have two date nights. You're like, oh my God, it was like so awkward. Like, what are we doing? We can't even talk about ourselves. We're just talking about the kids. Like, everything just feels awkward. Like, sex feels awkward. Everything just, 
It shouldn't be this way. It should just be easy. And yet, if you haven't done this for a, for a while, hell yeah, it's going to be awkward. Heck yes, it's not going to seem like you know what you're doing. It's going to feel very out of sorts. And the more that you invest into your marriage, the more that you have daytime, yes, even the more sex that you have, the better you will get at it. The more that you listen and the more that you find that what works, what doesn't works, it's the only way it's going to get better is by doing Not by talking about your marriage or solely talking about your marriage. Not by going to see a marriage counselor and them trying to figure out for you, but by actually investing time in each other. Investing time in each other. Doing the work. Thank you, Garrett J. White, for that very simple yet powerful concept that I love to to share as well, too. Do the fucking work. Do the fucking work. So I have clients too that will, that will come to me with this and even some that are listening into the, the podcast of they will think that they're supposed to be at a certain point. And that could be in their marriage, that could be with their business, that could be with, with health. And they again think and are delaying in creating all sorts of lies and excuses saying, well, I procrastinate. And are not willing to actually do the work. So here's the thing, sister. When you clearly know what you want, let's say if it's marriage. You want an epic marriage. You want to have a passionate marriage. And you, or you want to get that passion back. You want to have a connection emotionally, spiritually, physically with your husband. You need to invest the time into getting there. And that also means maybe having the, I shouldn't say maybe, definitely having the, the conversation of this is what I want. This is what I need. This is how I need you to show up as my husband. What do you need from me? That is on fucking comfortable. That is awkward. If you've not really done much outside of surface stuff and occasionally have a few extra drinks, you're like, Oh baby, I love you. You're the best thing ever. Look at our kids. And you know, you have this kind of, you know, alcoholic emotional thing that happens when we get a little bit loose with a few glasses of wine, a few drinks. But are you really willing to do what is required, which means you have to do to get better. You have to do to get better. I've had friends of mine that I've introduced to CrossFit are just like, man, you should get CrossFit. Like, okay, well, once I get into this, you know, shape, whatever that means for them, this, this weight, this body type, this strength level, um, this skill set. Well, then I'll start doing CrossFit. And it's like, motherfucker, just start doing it now. Like, yeah, you're going to suck at first. You're not going to feel like you know what you're doing in the gym. You're going to feel like, oh my God, I don't get it. I don't understand these different lifts. What's a snatch? What's a clean? Like, like, did, like how do I do all these things? And it's going to feel uncomfortable. You're not going to feel like you know what you're doing. And you will only get better by doing by doing. And guess what? It also means that you will have to be okay with looking bad sometimes. Like the fact that you're going to want it more than, than looking, making yourself look good, right? That you're willing to put yourself out there for the sake of what you want. And you clearly know why you want it. Like it's that holy cause sister. It's not just the well, I just really want a better marriage because I want to set that example for my children. I want to, you know, there's going to be some real surfacey things to your why when you ask those questions. But when you clearly know that deep why, like you ask the question why to yourself and you write it down in your journal and then you ask, well, why does that matter? And why does that matter? Why is that significant? And why is that important? And why does that matter? Like you keep asking the questions again. So with each answer, you ask why that, why that, why that? When you clearly know what you want, you clearly know the deep why as to why it matters, you will be willing to do the work to make it happen. And yes, that means learning by doing. Learning by doing. Not by reading books, not by listening to this podcast. Fucking doing it. Doing it. So here's your more tip for today then, sister. What have you been delaying doing because you feel like you're not ready yet? You're not good enough yet. You don't have enough money yet. 
what are you not taking action on? Maybe it's something in your marriage. Maybe it's something with your body. Maybe it's something with figuring out purpose. It's something with spirituality. It's something with your business. Something with how you show up as a parent. What is the one thing you have not taken action on that you think that you need to know more and are delaying? And I want you to take one step towards moving towards that today. Okay, so one step, like today, turn off the podcast, you're like, boom. Okay, so let's say, for example, if it's like, oh, I really, my husband, I keep talking about date nights, like, blah, 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 like, go online, book a dinner reservation, boom, get movie tickets, boom, like, just do it. Honey, uh, we're going out to dinner on this, get the sitter in, like, one step towards making that happen. See, there's momentum and movement. People have looked at uh, what my husband and I have done over the last 18 months, let alone the last three months, with the move that we've done here to Victoria. Literally, three, about three and a half months ago, we flew down here. We were living in St. Albert, Alberta, which is uh, right next to Edmonton, big city. Uh, big, Edmonton's big city in Alberta. We decided, like, we, we're, we're moving out of Alberta. Like, that's it. We already had made the decision of, like, if the practice doesn't, doesn't sell by this date, like, we're, we're just closing the doors. We're doing it. I left my network marketing business. We decided just to leave everything that we knew and to do something different because it's what the voice was calling us. We knew that where we were right now, we were plateauing. And yes, your environment matters. It matters. Now, you can't just have environment change. You don't do any other kind of work and think that the environment will do it all. But yeah, it matters. So we flew out here, not really being, moving, actually being in Victoria maybe a couple times before. We got here and we're driving around looking at, well, what areas, what part of, this is actually on Vancouver Island, Victoria is, so, so what part of the island do we really want to live on and all this stuff. And started to do the required work. We started to take the step. Did we know how this was going to happen? No. I'm now driving around. I actually got a little bit lost since I'm recording this podcast episode. Going home to, to uh, be with my oldest boy who's now with a nanny at the house. And we're going to hang out before we go pick, out his, pick up his little brother at daycare. And I'm kind of driving around I'm like, oh, it's kind of like awkward and uncomfortable. I've been driven around Victoria. We've only been here for a month now. It's awkward at first to do all these steps we need to do. List our house, sell our house, close the practice. Everything that comes along with closing the, pla- closing the practice. Negotiating with the landlord. How do we get out of this lease? Finding a place for our patients to go to. All the physical moving of 14 years in that space. Like everything, finding new support again. It's awkward. The only way, and it's uncomfortable, the only way we're getting better at this, me finding out and figuring out where things out, yeah, I can use my phone and GPS it, but I'm kind of forcing myself and to try to figure things out so I can get to know the area. So the only way you get better is by doing it. And one step will start the momentum. One step will get you moving forward. One step will be like, yes, I'm committing to this and I'm taking action on it. So one step today, sister, the thing that you're delaying, one step towards moving, towards doing it, towards getting that thing that you actually want. So I want you to head over to drkarenosborne.com slash newsletter to subscribe to the Women Wanting More newsletter if you haven't already. So three times a week, I send out the podcast episodes with all the show notes, resources, and links. And daily, I send you inspiration, motivation, ass kicking. Yes, I will get in your face sometimes because that's what you want and that's what you're needing for me to really tell the truth. You get VIP access to everything woman wanting more. My new book coming out. The website's got like any day now. It might even be by the time this podcast episode comes out that the new website is actually live. All my coaching events, my new group mastermind I'm opening up for, which will start around the middle of September. You get all of this by actually being on the newsletter. So make sure to head over to drkarenosman.com slash newsletter, enter in your email and your name, and I will get you hooked up on that today. So I will talk to you on the next episode, sister. A life of more and having it all is one step away from you doing the fucking work every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the how to get more tip, subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com newsletter.